Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with Communist China. Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Let me just get my WASD keys turned on here so we can move around. And yeah, let's let it play on speed 4 here. Uh, stay on speed 4 uh, instead of 5 since we are going to be doing some more attacks here uh, this episode. We're going to be launching an attack here, though. You can see they're, they're pumping divisions over here, just as I expected them to do. Uh, but will they be able to pump enough to deal with these 5 divisions that we have here? I don't know. Uh, we'll attempt an attack there. Uh, they did lose that attack. Yeah, that's not surprising. They're attacking across the river and they just gave them another division to help them out. Uh, so we're just going to let these guys get their organization up and get their um, planning bonus up. Uh, just a bit, although some of these guys have a planning bonus, so we can go ahead and have them launch the attack now. Uh, let's do that. Let's have these guys go. In fact, we can go ahead and send both of them. So we'll launch that attack. Uh, should be able to beat them, and see what we can do. Uh, so we now have the ability to infiltrate somewhere else. Where's this? This is here, right? Um, did it get pushed back? Perhaps it did. I don't know. I thought we were done infiltrating here. It says it can be further infiltrated, so yeah, I guess we'll keep doing it. Uh, but yeah, I thought we were... Oh, I see. I see the difference. Uh, communist elite divisions will appear in the state. Okay, so that's the difference. Interesting. All right. So yeah, if you see here, we only get communist militia. Okay, yeah. So that's exactly what we're going to want to do then. Uh, let's go ahead and continue to infiltrate it then. All right. I didn't know that there was another ranking there. Uh, so yeah, that, that'll be helpful. Uh, we did win here. Awesome. Uh, and again, we're just going to attempt uh, to cut some divisions off here if we can. Uh, I, I think it's going to be challenging to do, uh, but we'll see what we can we can make happen if we can grab that province. Uh, we will need to send more divisions over here, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let's get this guy going over there, and then let's take this division and have him go that way. I don't see any point on going there. That's just another province that we have to defend, and I want to get these guys cut off here. Uh, so yeah, I don't see any purpose to doing that. Yeah, that's just another province we have to defend, so yeah, let's not do that. What we can do is go ahead and launch an attack here. Just to lock those units down for right now, just so they can't uh, stop us from taking that province. And we might have to rotate these guys a little bit, that's okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, so they did get a division there, so now we're going to have to launch that attack. Alright, so experimental mechanized unit uh, has been completed. Okay, let's go over here, and I, I yeah, that did give us that division. Uh, so we we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, and then we have the Combined Arms Warfare, which we want to get, which doesn't give us any benefits we're going to use, but that allow us to get that, to ensure we can get that, uh, no matter what happens. All right, so we have that one division, uh, and he is, wow, he's a, a veteran. Oh, nice. Template is, is okay. Uh, I guess we can take a look at their stats here. It'd be nice just to have a light tank division, uh, but if we use them, uh, then we can't, we can't, uh, because he's using, let me just double check this. Uh, is it motorized or mechanized? It's motorized. So we, I guess we could reinforce for a little while. Um, they have a total of 120 tanks here though. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> we got a few backup tanks for any casualties we take, but overall they're not gonna be uh, all that useful for, for very long. But what we can do, because they do have such a, a good uh, experience rating, we will bring them over here, make use of them to at the very least try and take provinces quickly. Uh, because they're going to be way faster. Oh man, German Wright just declared war on the Soviet Union. That reminds me, I was going to ask the Soviet Union for uh, a, let's just see here, a lend lease. We're going to request a land a lend lease. See if they'll give us any, we don't really need infantry equipment. We need artillery and motorized. We'll see if they'll give us that. Uh, I don't know. We'll just ask for, for it and hopefully they'll comply. Uh, we'll ask for anti-air. They would not accept anti-air, so we'll pull that back. Now they just went to war, they might not accept anything. Uh, try artillery? Yeah, they're not going to do artillery either. And there's one other more that I said I could try. I could try light tank. Yeah, they wouldn't. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to accept any of these. Uh, we could even take a look and see why they won't accept. Yeah, they just don't have any. They might be able to give us infantry equipment, but yeah, that's not that useful. Yeah, ask for fuel. I don't think they're going to give us anything. Yeah. All right, well, that's a shame. Probably checked most of them twice. Alright, so I can't get anything from them. Uh, I should have asked before they went to war. Uh, that might have been more likely uh, that they would have gave us some stuff. Alright, so this guy's going to go ahead and just uh, attack here. And just watch this here, because we're going to want to send this guy in as soon as that attack fails. Right, attack! 
All right, so we're there. Excellent. Uh, and they are sending another division over here. We're going to get this guy going there. And, of course, Germany and Soviets are now in war. So hopefully the Soviets hold out for a long time, or else we'll be in trouble. Uh, I, I doubt they will, though. The Soviets do so poorly. I know they've been fixed in the last patch, but I, I don't expect them to hold out too long. Uh, the fascists are doing pretty damn good right now. Uh, we're just kind of waiting for the Americans to, to join the conflict. Uh, they're currently working on support Rock Island. Okay. Uh, did the situation change here at all? No, it doesn't seem like it. All right, so we're trying to cut some troops off. Uh, and if we didn't attack there, that would cut off these guys. So let's attempt that. I know we're giving up our entrenchment bonus here, guys. That's okay. Uh, I need to get a win. So we'll at least try and win there. Get another division to help them out. Uh, while well, this division is going to have to stay here for right now. Uh, and we don't really need to continue this attack. I don't think. I don't really want them to retreat at all. And if we defeat them, they'll retreat over there. Retreat over there. That's not what I want. You know what? Let's give them a breather. And go ahead and bring this division over here. Yeah. That's what we'll do. Alright, so looking pretty good. Might be able to get a win there once we get a division. Uh, but again, this is really where we need to focus. In fact, I should have supported that attack while I had an opportunity. Uh, we'll just have to do this to the fence now. Uh, we might be able to get a win there. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, so this is what we're going to want to do, guys. Let's go ahead and attack. Um, I guess we can attack here. Though that does extend the front for basically nothing. Yeah, I guess we do need to attack that way. Alright, so we'll have that division attack there because he might be able to win. And then we're going to have this division support this attack. So we can get a win there and cut these divisions off. There we go. All right, so it looks like we should get there. I don't see anything to stop us. And at the very least, we'll uh, be able to destroy two divisions, one cab and one infantry division. Uh, and, and I think this guy will probably want to have him stay here. He gets there in nine hours. How about the other guy? Four hours. So we're going to need him to stay here. There we go. All right, fantastic. So now we need to get this division here destroyed. We did lose in that attack. That's a shame. So let's focus on destroying this this division here now. Uh, we're going to send several divisions in there. Let this guy uh, restore his organization. And then we'll help out. Uh, should be able to get those guys wiped out, though. All right, so there we go. That's our first uh, real success in a while. And uh, we can go ahead and deploy this guy now. Oh, yes, I forgot. I was going to design these divisions. Now, I haven't read your guys' comments on that last episode yet, so I won't actually give them a name just yet. Uh, but let's go and get these guys designed. Uh, and again, we're going to add the engineer companies. Do we have the experience? We do. All right. And then we're going to go up to 20 combat with here uh, for these guys. Uh, just infantry, since we don't want to have to give them artillery. So yeah, we'll do this. And one more. 20 combat with uh, engineer companies. Uh, they do need a little bit of sort of support equipment, but not much, and a little bit of infantry equipment. So really not bad here, guys. Uh, and yeah, we'll go ahead and leave them with the reserves, and we will need to give them another icon here, but I don't know which one to give them yet because we don't have a name for them. So I'll wait to give them an icon until we've got a name. Uh, so let's go and save that and get some of these guys training up because, uh, yeah, they we have the equipment for them, or at least a few of them. You know what? Let's just do one for right now. That's fine. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and say low equipment priority... Put them over here into our training division. And then we're going to take that extra division that we have here and then get him assigned to one of these fronts here. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, we'll just put him over here. Get him moving over here to help us out. All right, so we have destroyed those two divisions. That is fantastic news. Uh, that means that, well, we could cut off... No, we can't cut off. Never mind. I was going to say, we could cut those guys off. We'd have to win... Hmm. We might be able to defeat those two. Yeah, I don't... I don't think we'd have a lot of success. I'd really like to get a win here. To cut these guys off. Uh, but I don't know that that's possible. Because, yeah, you got to win there. And win here. Yeah. I don't know if we'd be able to do that. Maybe once these two divisions leave, we'll test it out. Uh, so for right now, let's go ahead and pull this back. So that we don't we don't really need these divisions here anymore. And then we'll attempt an attack there once uh, these guys have kind of finished their moving. And then we'll figure out what we want to do there. 
All right, so yeah, this guy should be coming over to, yeah, he's coming over here. Well, in fact, I want to move him over there instead. Uh, not entirely sure who these five divisions are, but don't need five divisions there, so let's just change this up a little bit. Uh, yeah, two is all we actually need here. Who's the other ones? Huh. Okay, they're right here. Got it. So let's just take these guys, put them on that front. So eight divisions on this front, two right here. Uh, the two that are here are just defending those two provinces there. Getting entrenched. That's all we really need them to do. And then we'll be launching some attacks. Uh, again, I don't, I don't really know if this is going to be worth it, guys. And Japan just declared war on the Philippines. Oh, shit, they did that national focus. So America's going to get brought into the war. That is awesome news. Okay, so there's a focus that, that where they can try and bypass the Philippines or they can declare war in the Philippines, and Japan just declared war in the Philippines. So that means the United States is going to be pulled into the conflict. This is huge for us, guys. It's the beginning of the end for Japan now. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. All right, yeah, this is this changes the whole situation up, guys, by quite a bit. Because, uh, yeah, they're going to be at war with uh, the United States now. I don't know if they, yeah, they're already in war with them. All right, so America, hopefully they don't pump too much into this theater because, yeah, they'll just end up losing <laughs> a lot of it. I'm really hoping that they'll, they'll help out in the Asian theater first. I don't know. We'll just have to see. All right, so that is, uh, that is really good news. That's going to just change up uh, everything because, uh, yeah, Japan is now going to have to go defend their islands. Uh, they're going to have to invade the Philippines, of course, which requires a lot. Uh yeah, we'll just have to see what they end up doing. Of course, if they get control of Indochina, then that's, that really causes a massive amount of issues for these guys uh, down here in the south. And yeah, we'll take the non-aggression pact. In fact, let's contact the United States now that they're in the war and see if they are willing to give us an unlease. Yeah, because we could really, really use it. Uh, so I'm going to ask for... I don't really want to ask for infantry equipment because, yeah, I'd prefer getting other stuff. It doesn't look like they're going to give us anything. Yeah, that's the way it seems. Yeah, I don't think they're going to give us anything. That's a real shame. I'll go ahead and try and ask for stuff, but yeah, they're, they're not going to give us nothing. All right. I was hoping. Maybe, but I think they'd prefer to, to give it to their actual allies, since we are not in the same faction with them. Okay. Um, we got these guys building up. We need to keep 500 infantry equipment in the stockpile so I can continue doing these. Uh, so we won't, because I don't know how much further uh, we have to go on that. Yeah, I didn't know it. It kept on going. Uh, I want this guy to stay here, man. Stay here. Uh, let's go and launch this attack here. Although, he does not have his planning bonus yet. All right, so what we're going to have to do, because they're very intent on pulling this division from me, uh, we're going to have to change this up a little bit. See how the best way to do this. Let's pull this back. And then just have these divisions move wherever they want to. Okay. So yeah, we'll attack there once we get the, the planning bonus up. Uh, we'll have to attack there, and then we'll have to take this province, but we got to get a win here as well, which that's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to, to get a win there. At least there's not a river. So we'll see. Just this will be a pretty difficult attack, honestly. Uh, so let's make sure we get our, our good planning bonuses up. I don't know that we're going to send the tank in uh, on the actual attack. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Could it continue to attack these guys and make sure they can't leave here? Seems like our allies are kind of doing that for us. Yeah, we'll keep taking these non-aggression packs. Keep on watching this front as well. Let's take a look at the south here uh, and see how things are going. They never took that province that we took uh, for them, so the Japanese never got it back. So I feel like we actually did something there. <laughs> Not much, but something. They're going to pull divisions back a little bit now, uh, so we'll let them take any divisions from the front that they want. Obviously, it's nothing but beneficial to us. We probably shouldn't send the tank in on the actual attack. That'd, that'd be foolish, since we can't, uh, you know, we can't, uh, we don't have any other tanks to resupply them, other than those hundred. So that would not be wise. We only want to use them for, like, quick moves, where they don't have to fight, essentially. So we'll wait to move them until we've almost won, or have already won, this battle. And it does look like we are going to win the battle. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, we'd want the tank to hurry up and rapidly grab these provinces for us. So soon we'll be sending them in. Uh, we could have also supported with this division. I guess that would have been a quicker win. And we're almost there. All right, send the tank in uh, since he's fast. Uh, this is using a little bit of fuel as well, but that's okay. Uh, and so that we can hurry up and get the tank going that way. 
All right, so we've almost got them cut off. Not quite yet, though. Uh, let's go and take a division here uh, and send him over here to uh, do an attack this way. In fact, we'll go ahead and have him go that way now. And then we'll support with this division here. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. I guess we'll find out. In fact, let's just go ahead and send two divisions over there. Yeah, so we'll send two divisions to launch that attack at them. Uh, these guys have to defend here, and it looks like they're pretty effective at doing it right now. We'll keep on taking these lend lease offers. We got the improved artillery upgrade too. Excellent. Could go and do the anti-air next. Well, let's see if there's anything else that would be more immediately beneficial here with our 1941 techs uh, available. I think yes, we do want to go down. Uh, go ahead and go down the indus industry techs. Continue to get these. Let's get the assembly line production. I think that'd be more beneficial to us at this moment than to get anti-air, which we're not even using yet. So they're pulling that guy back, so we might actually be able to win now when those two divisions get here. Uh, which, yeah, it's going to take them a little while. That's okay. Uh, we can now make a movement here, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to want... I wish I could have got there in time, but that tank, even the tank unit wouldn't have done it, uh, unfortunately. Let's go and attack here with this division because he's weak, uh, so let's take advantage of that. And then we're going to be trying to get... Uh, well, we can't attack across the river. We're going to have to go this way. Okay. So what we're going to need to do... We're just going to have to change this up. So we can send more divisions over that way. Alright. So let's pull this back. And then have these... Where are they? These three divisions here. Let's give them their own little front here. And I don't want to get them assigned just yet. We'll only assign this guy. And then give them a planning bonus as well. I know this is kind of odd using all these fronts like this, but yeah, I'm fine with doing it. It's the only way that this seems to really effectively work. Uh, so let's go ahead and send both of these guys over here. And in fact, it's taken them so long to go, it would be probably just be better to just have them take the railroads over there and then let them get their organization up. I often find that that seems to be the better route to go. Uh, so I think we have, yeah, we have a division here. We're going to have support that attack. Oh, he stopped for whatever reason. Help me, man. All right, so we're going to get a victory point back. Well, you should look at that, man. I'm so proud of our guys. They're awesome. All right, so these guys are here, uh, and we're going to want to do the attack as soon as they get their organization up, and letting them pull this division back would be helpful as well. All right, so we've taken that province. Uh, that's a victory point. Uh, it doesn't look like it has... or we can't see anyway. So just need to get this here done so we can get these divisions here destroyed so let's just wait uh they're getting planning bonuses up they're getting organization back up and they're in fact pulling trying to pull a division back i wish they'd just let them that'd be nice all right so we're doing pretty good now guys we're making some progress here all right so the division that's on we want the division that's we don't want that guy here uh so yeah we're looking at we're pretty good let's go ahead and attempt the attack now Unfortunately, we're stuck on there, so we need to reinforce them. There we go. We've reinforced. Should be able to complete that. We still gotta get this attack across the river. God damn it. So I hate when I join their attacks. It always gets messed up. Alright, so we'll do that attack. Uh, and let's take a look at our, our equipment situation. We're at 931 for infantry equipment. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't think we should build... I think they need a thousand. So yeah, we won't, we won't build any more just yet. We'll wait. We'll be patient. Oh, and these guys are not training. My bad. I really forgot that I turned the training off there. All right, looking pretty good. Just trying to get the win there. Uh, as soon as you guys get here, we'll attack them there, and that'll cut off however many divisions are here at the time. Right now, it's four. We'll see if that remains the case uh, once these guys get their victory. Uh, we will need to pull this back here. I don't really care about anybody leaving here. And then we're going to launch the attack here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take these two and do the attack, and then have this guy support that attack. All right, so should be able to get a win there, and then it'll cut all these divisions off, and then we're going to be launching attacks uh, at them, try and get them defeated here. We won't do it just yet. We'll wait until we actually have them cut off and uh, defeated. And yeah, this is how we're going to beat the Japanese, guys. Uh, once we had... That's really what we needed. We needed an army um, that we could use for an actual offensive attacks, because, you know, we were pretty limited on uh, what we could do. Uh, so let's just take this guy and send him over to here so that he can help us destroy these guys. Uh, these guys are now cut off. There's a total of four divisions. Okay. There's little things, guys. Uh, little things. Uh, so let's do... Have both these guys attack up this way. 
and we'll see how that looks. Let's help this uh, unit out here. All right, awesome. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we'll just get those four divisions destroyed. As you see, they are uh, just about destroyed now. Uh, we've taken both of the provinces, technically. We're just moving towards them now. Uh, let's take a look at the situation down here in the south, see if things have got any better. Uh, looks like they might have gained a province. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think so, though. Yeah, I think they get a province there. All right, making progress there as well. Okay, so yeah, we're turning around against the Japanese. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Take that province, uh, get those divisions destroyed, and then we'll have to figure out where we want to go next. I suppose we can start pushing the front forward here, make sure that these guys don't uh, capitulate. Uh, so yeah, we could do that. Lock these guys down. Let's let's go and do it. Let's attack them there. Lock them down. And uh, we knew that the the massive casualties that the Japanese took was going to cause them issues. Uh, so it's not surprising that we're having some success here. Uh, it's very very good to see, honestly. So. I want to make sure that nobody's gone up to these fronts. Yeah, because we have five here, and that's all we really need, I think. One, two, three, four, five, one. Yeah, yeah. We don't need any more than what we have there. So half the army will be uh, down here. So let's... We want to just go ahead and make just one front right now. Let's see where we want to go next. Could keep pushing them back, because uh, we are successful there. But I want to I want to focus on cutting divisions off and destroying them. So instead of having two fronts here... Let's delete that one. And then all of them will eventually go here. Uh, let's see which ones aren't here right now. This guy needs to be... Uh, we have to keep him going that way. So that won't work. Um, who isn't in this? Is that nine? It looks like nine, so I think we're good. I think it's just that one division that we already know about. Let's go and move this guy over here, since there's not really an attack going there. Might as well get that light tank moving nice and rapid. And yes, I wanted to... Stretch the front out over here. Try and get behind these guys. Uh, and, oh yes, we already have two divisions coming over here, so we'll see if we can't get behind them. Uh, see how much success we have there. Uh, we have renegotiated the... Oh, we bypassed that. Oh, because I think it's already been done. Yeah, I think uh, that means one of the other Chinese factions did that. So did that give us a national spirit? Let me just take a look here. No. Did it remove a national spirit? Actually, no. Let's take a look here. So we completed this one. Maybe it removed it? Yeah, I didn't know if we had that one. I don't know what that was. Uh, but anyway, now we have three new routes that we can go. We go down the one China policy, and, and these two are mutually exclusive, anti-imperialism or imperial legacy. So we go down the one China policy, uh, and that would allow us to get an annexation war goal against them. We can attempt to integrate or conquered a bit. Uh, obviously, that would probably not work out for us at this point. We can renounce this line here, uh, the McMahon line, uh, and that would gain us a core, or claim, excuse me, and demand Mongolia. So yeah, none of these are all that useful at this point. Uh, we can do the anti-imperialism, uh, which would gain us uh, more war support, and also something not all that useful. Uh, we can release these guys, guidance and support. Of course, you got to own those already. Seeing if there's anything here that would be useful. Not really seeing it, guys. Yeah, none of these are going to help us uh, right now. Essentially, this is just it's for war goals and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, not going to help us uh, immediately. Uh, the U.S. branch has some stuff that we're going to want to go down. Uh, but before we do, let's go ahead and finish up uh, some of these other ones. For instance, I would really like to go in and get that base stability. That would be helpful. Uh, we could use the factory output increase that that would provide. So let's go ahead and do that. And see what we have going here. All right, so these guys have one here. Let's go ahead and put them over there. Uh, we could attempt to cut off some divisions here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that would work out, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, let's just move this division down. And come focus on one thing at a time. We'll spend our whole 10 divisions here. I think would be the best way to do this, so that we can try and slowly try and cut divisions off. I'm going to push forward here. I want to win right there, but we got to finish up this defense. Let's see if we can't get the tank division to come down there uh, quickly. We'll send both of them, in fact, since we have another division coming, I think. This guy's going here. We'll send him over here. So we have divisions here. All right, awesome. Yeah, we'll keep on pushing forward. Might as well. I don't see a reason not to. 
And then, yeah, we're going to try and take that province. And now we have to win here. It does look like our allies are having some success there. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to definitely need to support that. I hate that our tanks are, are fighting right now. Uh, that's not desirable. But uh, we'll eventually get this guy over there. There we go. And hopefully they don't have to sh um, you know, take too much of the brunt of the tax here. And there we go. Cut these guys off. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get them destroyed now. That is a total of three divisions. Japanese divisions that have been cut off and are now ready to be destroyed. Awesome. I'm very pleased with that. Let's go ahead and have these guys go this way and then this division go this way since he'll probably have to fight. Uh, this one's open as well, but it looks like somebody else is going to get it for us. All right, so yeah, we are pushing forward now, guys. Uh, and I thought I told this guy to go over here. Apparently not. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, this got messed up. I sent the wrong divisions. Whoopsie. All right, I messed that up. I'll get that changed. All right. Um, and... I guess this guy can come on over here. Okay, so we're actually pushing forward here. Uh, very happy to see that. The Japanese have pulled all these divisions off, guys, because they got to go fight America now. Uh, so now they're pulling divisions. Oh wow! Look at all. The, look at where the hell did all their divisions go? They pulled them all off to go fight the United States. The United States has already done an invasion. They've invaded Okinawa. Oh, Japan's in trouble. Uh, they have done several invasions of the Philippines, but I don't think they have any ports at this point. No, they have no ports yet, so they could end up getting destroyed. All right, so yeah, things are going very, very well now. Okay, I'm actually very happy to see the current situation now. Uh, let's go ahead and, and we want to do this one now. Uh, this is for this province because we can now do it because uh, it's back in control of China, so let's go ahead and initiate that. Um, this is, we are completely infiltrated here now. Uh, that's the last point, the elite divisions. Okay, very good to see. Uh, so, whenever we're ready to rebel against them, we'll get control of that province at the very least. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can't get more. Uh, we'll keep on doing it. See if we can't uh, get as many provinces under our control when we rebel. Alright, so we're taking that province. Moving these guys here. Still got a lot of time left in the episode. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the way things are going. Uh, yeah, they are going much better than I was expecting them to, honestly. So, let's go ahead and pull these guys. Uh, have them now move over to these provinces and then they can help us out here uh, and then we'll go ahead and have let me see here have this division attack up here yeah this is this is going very very well guys have that guy's attack there he might be able to get that division cut off before he's destroyed what's that to see uh, see where other points are that we might be able to cut some we'll go ahead and do an attack here that we're currently defending uh, I think yeah they, we should be able to yeah we won excellent uh, so we have a division going there already. Um, let's see if we can't cut them off with the tanks. I'm not going to attack them and destroy them yet. So the tanks just have to keep fighting, man. That's not what I like to see. Uh, let's go and attack these guys so they don't have to uh, fight any further. Any more than necessary. Alright, so we won there. Excellent. Uh, we're getting more divisions coming over here so we can try and get those guys cut off. And just looking at... All right, so we're fighting there. Yeah, I want to cut off this guy here if we can with this tank unit. Uh, he's really weak right now. Oh no! Uh, the Japanese did have some success over there. That's not what I wanted to see. All right, so let's get this guy moving over here. This guy has already won there. Fantastic. And this division here is now cut off. So let's go in and destroy him. And we won there as well. So we do have an opening here to cut off uh, a division. But I don't want to do this attack that's already lost. So now let's do it. All right, fantastic. Should be able to cut those two divisions off now. Uh, this guy here is going to be defeated, so we don't really need to let's bring this guy over here and this guy over to this one. Who is on this? Who is it? There's a division somewhere that is currently assigned to this province, but I cannot find him. There's that guy and this guy. Oh, okay. All right, uh, so we're now moving up along here. I'm going to try and cut this division off here if we can. Uh, we'll try and make that happen. Let's have this guy here go here, and then he'll help out in that defense. And what happened over here? Uh, Japan just declared war on the Dutch East Indies. Okay, so Japan will now be going to war with the Allies. Because uh, I don't think they're at war with the Allies yet, because are, are the Americans in the Allies? No, the Americans are not in the Allies yet. So, yeah, they were not even fighting the Allies at this point. Uh, so, yeah, they're in trouble now. 
that uh, declaration of war against the Philippines is what basically is going to win this now uh, for us. I hate the tanks are having to do so much fighting. It's not what I wanted them to be doing, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see if we can't get a win here. Cut these guys off, although we have to cut. we got to cut those guys off to make it worth it. We'll see what we can do there. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and pull this back. We don't need to defend all this. All right. And yes, UK has been called in the war, as expected. And the United States has joined the UK's faction, so the Allies. Awesome. So the Allies are now into the war, and everybody's into the war against the Japanese. Uh, so very, very good news overall. Uh, so these guys can now support this attack. Let's have them do that. And we can go ahead and push forward here. I guess we might as well. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? Support that. All right. So, pushing forward here. Japanese just continue to push troops back because what else are they going to do? Uh, yeah, they're just in a, a really crappy position now. Uh, they can't can't really do much because they've got to pull all their troops back to deal with the the Americans. All right, so we're not going to be able to cut these guys off more than likely. I'll attempt to. I'll do an attack here because, yeah, that would cut off. Uh, now you'd have to go here to, to cut them off. We'll continue it. Uh, see if we can't can't make that happen. Cut some divisions off. Um, there's a lot of openings here, so we might as well take advantage of them. Start pushing the front forward. This is going to increase our our war participation as well. Uh, these guys are going to go over here. We'll wipe them out uh, once they finish up that defense. Okay, let's go ahead and push forward and see if there's anywhere else we can do anything. Yeah, the Japanese are in so much trouble now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're done for, guys. So this guy's going to leave. Yeah, I think we could probably beat him. Yeah, we'll beat him. See if we can't cut some divisions off there, get them destroyed. Here, we're still... Yeah, we need to go here. When do they leave? 13 hours. Okay, um, what we'll do is let them all leave here. Oh, that's going to take forever. Do they not have any supply here? It seems like. They are moving stupidly slow. When do we get there across the river? Three days. I guess it's worth it. And um, then we'll go this way and attack them there. They're about to cut us off right now, though. Uh, so, uh, we need more troops. Let's just go ahead and have these guys take this province here. And then, you know what? We probably should just come over this way and let them attack us. And we will give them military access. I don't see any reason not to. And could continue pushing forward here. And in fact, we probably should. And we should actually go ahead and pull all these divisions off of this front here now. Uh, yeah, because this guy can wipe them out. And then we'll just go ahead and delete this front. And then have all these guys go to this front now. And is there any other ones? I think, I think that's it. Might be mistaken. This guy might not be on there yet. There we go. Alright, so that should be all of them over there. And it should just, yeah, be 14 divisions. That's what we want. Excellent. So we'll get this guy over here to defend to make sure we can't get cut off. Uh, and then we'll go across here, grab this province, and then attack that CAD division so we don't get the river penalty. And then it cut those divisions off uh, so that we'll be able to destroy them fairly easily. And let's get all these guys going over here. I'm not worried about that. And we'll go ahead and attack here, just in case we lose there. And we will grant military access to the allies. There we go. We've gotten that. So let's go and attack that cab division. Should be able to get a win there and cut those guys off. Although, yeah, they'll be cut off. Uh, so we just got to get that win. We could also go ahead and attack this way, but yeah, I don't know what would end up happening there. All right, so we can go ahead and continue pushing forward. Uh, we might. Nah, we're not going to put it under AI control. It's fine. We're not really controlling that many divisions. We can do it. All right, so let me see where there's openings. Attack those guys there. And grab that province. And this one. And I'm going to try and separate the, the Japanese territory in the south and the north here. And we'll take all these non-aggression packs for right now. All right, yeah, this is this is going well, quite well, guys. 
It was just what I wanted to see uh, once they once they went to war with the the Allies it was, and uh, the United States. It was essentially a wrap for them. Uh, we didn't get as many division cut off as I would have liked. Uh, I don't know where they're at. And yeah, we got that guy. I suppose we can support that attack. Make sure that gets done as quickly as possible. We gotta be short on tanks by this point. Oh, we're still doing alright. We got 82 tanks. Only lost about 18, it seems. Alright, and they are canceling the land lease with us. I'm guessing, yeah, we're doing pretty good on equipment at this point. So that's the reason why. So let's go ahead and change up our division designs, our Crouching Tigers. And give them the support anti-air. Uh, or no, we weren't doing support anti-air, excuse me. Uh, we wanted to give them just regular anti-air. Um, we'll just do it over here, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So anti-air in here and that gets us to, to the 40 combat width uh, and yeah, nothing to really go there right now I'm we'll just going to save this and uh, we can go ahead and build one of the, the crouching tigers divisions although yeah yeah we'll go and do that get them deploying over here going to the training army and take them up to the top there all right looking pretty solid uh, British Raj Wants to provide us one convoy. We'll accept that, I guess, because we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any ports, but whatever. I'll take the I'll take the convoys. Let's take a look here. Uh, I guess we should take a look and see what how we're doing on this military factory. Thirteen, thirteenth uh, of February. That's gonna be it's gonna be a while, guys. All right, so these divisions have been cut off. Uh, so now we just need to get them destroyed. Let's start working on that now and bring this division. We'll have to have him attack here, actually, which. Okay, somebody's already doing it. Never mind. All right, so we'll attack this way then. All right, so we're attacking over there. Uh, good point to cut some divisions off here. We'll see if we can't make it happen. No, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we should have went up this way with this division, but whatever. It's going to have this guy attack here. And this guy's going to go here. So we'll cut those guys off. Okay. Yeah, we need more divisions over here. Uh, and how many do we have? We have the 12 now. Okay, so somebody went over... I was going to say somebody went over to this front, but they just didn't do anything. They never go when I want them to go. <laughs> Whenever I want them to uh, automatically assign themselves, they never do. They only do it when I don't want them to. So clearly there's some more divisions that aren't assigned, but I don't know where those are at. Or there's another front. Yeah, it's another front. Okay. So we should be good. Uh, this guy actually did lose. Okay, well, that's a shame. So who is going over here. So this guy's going over there. We don't want him going there. Let's keep him over here. And we need to get these guys cut off here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll abandon that province for right now. And go attack that way. Uh, and yeah, this guy's coming up over here. Excellent. Uh, so let's see who's all assigned here because clearly somebody... Okay, we've got it. Alright, fantastic. And we'll just keep on pushing forward here where we can. I mean, let's go and get that done so we can destroy these divisions here. Uh, here's another point where we could cut some divisions off, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, get these guys cut off here. Uh, we just got construction four. Fantastic. Uh, let's start working towards excavation now. We could use some more resources. We're pretty short on resources right now, unfortunately. Uh, so we did cut these guys off. Uh, so that's very good news. Let's go ahead and work on getting them destroyed now. And we might, in fact, yeah, we'll have to support with these guys. There we go. Green across the board there. Uh, one here. Um, and this tank division will likely attack there for us. And try and get them all the way across there. We'll have to see. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, I want to get them there as quickly as I can. Uh, we will need to attack this division, and we're kind of weak. Let me see how much time they have before they're going to get there. Nine hours. And now we're looking at seven hours. All right. Did the best I could. We'll try and lock them down for a little while. Uh, so, yeah, we got there. Fantastic. All right. So now we need to get them destroyed. Let's go ahead and pull that back. And then we'll uh, see if we can't cut the rest of these guys off. Uh, got those guys cut off, and we won there as well. So these guys are now cut off. Fantastic news. Let's go ahead and start attacking them. Uh, let's attack both these guys. And, you know, obviously they're still supplied right now. We do have to stay up here right now and defend those provinces. Can't let them push forward. 
All right, so I don't know where that division just went. I didn't want him to move, so that was not desirable. I don't want him to go back over here. And let's attempt this attack here now. And I don't really want to send the tank. Yeah, so we're just going to have to wait. He'll just go all the way across, I guess, as soon as he gets there. Uh, take the non-aggression packs again. And this guy's still attacking. He's... Let's go and push forward here then. And just... Oops. Take any provinces that are open. Probably won't beat this guy here, actually. One day in four hours. Nah, we're not going to beat him there. All right, we'll just have him stay here for right now. Lord, man. Yeah, this guy did lose. Damn it. It's a shame. Yeah, it's a real shame. I'm going to send this guy in as well. We're not going to get there in time, though. Though they might have pulled it back after they defeated us. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we'll see if we can't get there again. Hurry, little dude. Hurry. You can do it. I believe in you. Now let's take a look at the southern part of this front. I don't think we need to be fighting in this wide of a front right now, because we don't even have enough troops to man it. Alright, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and here again, um, I don't really feel like we need to protect that wide of a, or be on this wide of a front at this moment. We do want to finish this up, though, so let's support that attack. And then have these guys here attack. Uh, this is open. We'll go ahead and take another province, I suppose. Push forward there, and we'll just take advantage of any opportunities like that when we can. These guys have been cut off. Excellent. Let's see if we can maintain that. Uh, and then we need to go ahead and start launching some attacks. Let's attack them first. Try and get these, uh, this division here wrapped up. And then we'll have this guy here. Well, he doesn't really have any organization. We're going to have to wait. Alright, it's fine. Alright, so this attack did fail. <laughs> Alright. So we'll have to wait until we get our organization up a little bit for some of these units here. And uh, then we'll be able to continue attacking. But yeah, the Japanese are, are going to get kicked off the mainline, guys. Uh, this is, this went so well. Um, at, at of a point where we were we couldn't even... Uh, we couldn't really do anything. Uh, and at the beginning of this episode, we couldn't really do nothing. Uh, to the point where, you know, just the Americans uh, getting war declared on them, or specifically the Philippines, uh, has changed the entire situation up. Uh, it does look like they've gotten Okinawa back. Uh, but, yeah, uh, just that little declaration of war has changed everything uh, as the Japanese have, have rapidly uh, pulled all their divisions out. Uh, so they barely have any. Uh, look at this. I mean, they're still kind of deep down here in the south, but, yeah, they do not have a lot of divisions now. Uh, and this is now going to allow us to gain back all of that territory uh, for China. So, yeah, it, it just went so well. Uh, and just think about how many casualties we have inflicted on them. Uh, so far in this attack. Go and grab that province. And, okay. Let's go and have this guy attack here. And then these guys attack here. Just to get them pulled back. I don't want them to be able to reconnect this. We are now on the 1st of November, 1941. And let's go ahead and have... Yeah, he'll just stay there for right now. It's fine. Not really seeing any other opportunities here for advancement. Let's pull this back. There's no real reason to uh, have this many divisions over here. Uh, and in fact, they're not going to attack this way. Let's just, but let's go ahead and do this anyways. Send another division over to them. Or over to that side, I should say. So these guys are now cut off. Uh, or they've been cut off, excuse me. Uh, we need to get them destroyed. Uh, infantry offensive has been knocked out. Do we have the experience to get the next one? We do not. And the next one is the organization. I, I almost feel like we should wait for that because we're going to be getting a at least one uh, research bonus, I think. Or is that the one that I'm not able to get? Okay, that's the one I can't get. All right, so we can't get that. We know there's no research bonus there. And I don't know if there's any uh, available here to be used. It doesn't look like it. I just want to make sure we're able to use all of our experience bonuses. Let's take a look over here then. See if there's anything here that we can't even get these. It's largely irrelevant. Alright, uh, so yeah, we'll be... We don't need to wait then. I just wanted to confirm that there wasn't any more uh, land doctrine research bonuses. So yeah, we don't need to wait. Uh, we don't have the army experience yet either to, to really do anything uh, in that regard. So let's, let's just go ahead and continue uh, researching these, uh, get that organization. 
even if it is going to take 295 days. It's fine. Uh, so we have separated these two. Um, hmm. So how do we want to do it now? I think we'll focus on the north. Yeah, let's focus on the north. And I, I guess we'll wait to see that. I was going to say, I would like to see how much participation we have. But it's fine. So let's go and delete this, or before we do that, take all the divisions that are there and assign them over here. Uh, these guys here will be assigned here. And let's delete this. And see who the hell is not. Yeah, these guys are not assigned here. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's go and put these guys over here as well. So all these four divisions here, I don't know if that'll be enough. I suppose we'll find out. I'll attack there. And uh, we'll take take all these guys and see if they can't do it. If all of them are attacking. No, we cannot. We just didn't get them weak enough yet. All right, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. That's fine. Let's go to grab that province. Uh, it's wide open. Let's grab this one as well. And yeah, we'll separate this area from the north as well. Okay. Lovely. I'll see if I can't get them to give me any territory once we actually, you know, get into new territory and not, you know, territory that China always had. And we'll see if we can't give, let, uh, get any territory. We'll have to see what the war participation is and see if that's even uh, something they would be willing to do. So, you know, it's always hard to say. Uh, let's go and have this guy go up along the coast. All right, so yeah, I haven't had a lot of success trying to get these guys here defeated, but they have been eating some attrition here for a little while, so yeah, it looks like it's a lot better now. All right, fantastic. Uh, this guy can go ahead and just have this guy go here. Oops. All right, let's go and continue pushing forward here. And yeah, just wide open territory now. So let's push forward across all fronts. Okay, uh, and non-aggression pact offers from everybody which I am completely willing to accept right now. Okay. Fantastic, man. All right, let's go ahead and have the tank grab that province for us. Since that guy decided he didn't want to go over there. And uh, yeah, this just went so so well, man. I didn't expect it. I expected us to be fighting this on, on like in a defensive situation for a lot longer. I did not, uh, did not expect it to go this way, guys. Uh, not at all. Let them go that way. They'll grab that province for us. This guy's about to cut off, so we should probably attack. Just for right now. Just until we can grab that province. Okay. Uh, and... Hmm. Alright, not really a whole lot we can do there. Uh, let's get these guys destroyed, though. And we'll just all attack from the same province. Let's see it's here. For right now. All right, uh, so this guy here, we're gonna attempt to cut that division off. Um, it's gonna be kind of difficult. In fact, you know what? Let's just go grab the port. <laughs> There's no reason to do it that way. And we should have just used the light tank actually to do to get the tank. I'll see if he can get up there uh, faster than the infantry division. It's two provinces that he has to move, so I would assume not. Uh, he won't be able to do it as quick uh, as the infantry guy will, but we'll see. At the very least, he'll be able to start wrapping up some of this other territory back here. Uh, oh, there's actually a division there, so we'll want to go this way. And retreat. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll try and cut these guys off. Let's go ahead and have this guy attack here. Okay. And then we'll attack up this way a little bit later. Let's first get these guys wrapped up. Uh, there's nobody in that port any longer. Uh, so let's go ahead and... We'll have the tank wrap all this up. Maybe... There we go. I have the tank come wrap this territory up. Hopefully there's nobody there defending it. Since I just set him up that way. And uh, we're not really going to pay attention to it. And yeah, we'll take any of these offers they're willing to provide us. Uh, let's take a look and see how we're doing on the equipment right now. Pretty short on infantry equipment. Largely due to us building that other division, the large division design. So that's probably part of the problem. Uh, we don't really have a, lot, a whole lot of factories going towards that either. Uh, support equipment could be pulled from. But it's fine for right now, guys. Yeah, we're fine. I'm not going to mess with it. Let's keep our efficiency up. Let's not mess with things. All right, so this guy's going to go over here. Just try and cut these guys down from having, you know, places they can retreat to. And these guys are already doing that for us, so there's no real reason to 
to go over that way. Uh, this cow division is going to hopefully have to fight us here. Alright, so yeah, he'll fight him there. And we'll just have him stay here for right now. Bring this guy over here and he'll help us take that port. And attack. Oh, that is not effective at all. Alright, that's surprising. I guess we'll just have him go to that province then. Alright, so these guys have now been cut off. Fantastico. Uh, let's go and attack. Ooh, wait a minute. Still got that division selected. Let's go and attack them. Uh, get them put into one province here. I don't know. Okay, they're retreating over to here. Got it. I see. Alright, excellent. We're done. Uh, we've wrapped them up. Uh, that guy is now cut off as well. We should probably just go ahead and get him destroyed. Uh, not attack across the river. Okay, and that is actually going to be the end of the episode, unfortunately, guys. I don't know why we couldn't win this attack here. You'd think we would have been undefeated them. Yeah, let's get that port, man. So, yeah, we've almost gotten uh, all of China back into our hands. Um, that is such good news. Yeah, that has went uh, really, really well. And I'm going to advance up this way to try and cut off all the troops that are here. Uh, try and cut these guys off. You see that there's, yeah, Spain has sent volunteers, apparently. I would assume that's volunteers. Yeah, because they can't. Yeah, they have that uh, recovering from the Civil War. And we're on historical focuses on, which means I'm pretty sure that they're um, n probably never going to be able to join the faction. Actually, I'm not sure how that works. I want to say that when, because they made an adjustment, that when historical focuses are on, uh, something's different with Spain, so that they're not either not as likely to join or uh, it takes them longer before they lose that national spirit so they could join, or they don't lose, or they don't join at all. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, we're doing a great job now that the Japanese have pulled so many troops back. Uh, so we're going to advance up this way and try and cut all these divisions off. Uh, so we'll just keep our five divisions here defending, cut these guys off and get them destroyed. So yeah, uh, this is going quite well now, uh, which means that once Japan's kicked off the mainland, I don't think we're going to want to do the naval invasions and take Japan over yet until after we've destroyed uh, China. Uh, because yeah, we want them to have to defend their ports, we want them wasting uh, divisions on trying to do invasions or something, I don't know. Uh, but I do want to to betray the Chinese before Japan's defeated. But we're definitely not in a point where we can do it uh, just yet. Uh, so we're gonna need to build up a while. I'll, I'll help them knock the Japanese out because I wanna take a look and see, we're at 13% total war participation, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, China is at 55%. Uh, you can see the allies over here as well. Uh, so, currently lost 101,000. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Uh, China, Japan's lost 1.42 million. Uh, we did 323,000. So, 100 to 323. Um, that's not even counting the ones that we did uh, here. Uh, so, yeah, that's 45,000. Yeah, that's not bad, guys. Uh, so, if we just did straight up numbers here, uh, we did 45 uh, plus 21. So that's uh, 66 plus the 323. That'd be uh, fucking math, man. 89, 389, probably a little bit more. 390,000. 390,000 for 101. So almost uh, one loss for every four kills, essentially. Uh, we got a 4-1 a kill death ratio right now. So yeah, we're doing great. Uh, great job against them. Great job uh, conserving our manpower. Uh, for the larger war against uh, our Chinese, uh, currently our Chinese allies. So yeah, I'm excited to be able to, to get involved in that conflict with them. Uh, but let's finish up with Japan, uh, make sure they can't push back. Uh, I want to get them kicked off the mainland. Uh, that's the goal. Get them kicked off the mainland uh, while we continue doing infiltration missions. So at the very least, we'll get a few states when we rebel, because that's right now. I don't know how well we do against our Chinese uh, allies. Uh, there's a lot of them. They have a lot of divisions. I, I just don't know how well we do. Uh, so let's build up. Let's continue building up. Continue getting... Whoa. Continue to get more troops built up. And uh, see what we can do there on that front. Uh, get through our national focus tree. All that good stuff. Uh, though... Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we should have any issues with the allies. I was going to say something um, in regards to the allies. Yeah. We shouldn't have any issues with them. I don't think. Uh, because yeah, this is the, the Chinese United Front. Uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did uh, enjoy the episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.